In this video, we're going to learn how to compute the volume of a cylinder using C. So here we have the formula to compute the volume of a cylinder. It's pi multiplied by the radius of the cylinder squared multiplied by the height of the cylinder. So the first thing we'll do is declare variables to store the radius and height. We'll have double radius is equal to zero. So radius is going to store the cylinder radius. We're going to make it a double type variable. So that way we can use numbers with decimal places. We've initialized radius to zero for now, but we'll actually prompt the user to enter in the radius value. We'll also declare a double variable called height to store the cylinder height. Now to define and use the value of pi, we'll use a preprocessor constant. Up here we'll have number define pi, and then we'll have 3.1415 and on and on. So we can now get the value of pi by using this preprocessor constant in our program. Next we'll prompt the user to enter in the radius and height. Down here we'll have printf to prompt the user to enter in the cylinder radius. Then we'll use scanf to store the radius that the user enters into the variable radius. So we'll have scanf with percent %lf and then and radius. So this string here with percent %lf is telling scanf to expect a double value to be entered. And here where we have and radius, what we're passing scanf is the memory address of the radius variable. We call that a pointer. Scanf is going to use that memory address to store the radius that the user enters into the radius variable. Now in the same way, we can prompt the user to enter in the cylinder height. So we'll have here printf and then height colon to prompt the user to enter in the cylinder height and then scanf with percent %lf and this time and height to store the double value that's entered into the height variable. Next, we can calculate the cylinder volume. Up here, we could declare one more variable for volume. And then down here, once we have the radius and height, we'll calculate the volume. We'll have here volume is equal to pi times radius times radius to give us r squared and then multiply by the height. And this expression here will calculate the cylinder volume. We can then output the calculated cylinder volume. Down here we could have printf cylinder volume colon followed by percent %f. So this percent %f placeholder will allow us to output a double value here. We need to supply that as the next argument to printf. And we'll also have backslash n to output a new line and then we'll supply volume as the value to output for that percent %f placeholder. We could save compile and run a program to test it out. We'll enter in a radius of 10 and a height of 20, and we get a cylinder volume of 6,283.185307, which is correct. Now, if we don't need that many decimal places of accuracy for our cylinder volume output, we could use the precision field to limit the number of decimal places in the cylinder volume output, we could have here percent dot two F. And this precision field here is going to limit the cylinder volume output to two decimal places. If we save, compile, and run the program, we could enter in 10 for radius and 20 for height. And now the cylinder volume is output with two decimal places. Now, one more thing we could do is create a function to calculate the cylinder volume. Up here, we could have double cylinder volume and then double radius and double height. So this cylinder volume function here is going to return a double value. The cylinder volume is going to accept as arguments the radius of the cylinder and the height of the cylinder. We can copy and paste this, and then down here, we'll define the function. All we'll do is return pi multiplied by radius squared, by again having radius times radius, multiplied by the height. And then we could call the function here. We could have cylinder volume, and we could pass it the radius 
and the height. And so the function will return the calculated cylinder volume that we're going to store into volume based on the radius and height values that are provided as arguments. We can save, compile, and test this out. And again, we'll enter in a radius of 10 and a height of 20. And again, we get the correct cylinder volume. So this is how we can calculate the volume of a cylinder using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.